Okay, hello everyone. Today I'm going to be showing you and kind of demonstrating how to use this new app called Quadro. So Quadro uh, kind of replaces your ma uh, mouse and uh, keyboard with your phone or tablet or any device really that you use. Uh, it works on Windows and Macs. Um, you can, for example, when you open up an application, uh, all your applications are going to be loaded into the side here. And when you select on one like Chrome, for example, go to Chrome here, uh, it will open it up. And then you'll see all of your uh, palettes for that application. Uh, folders are these little things right here, they're groups. And groups, when you click on group, you just see more actions that you can do. So each of these little boxes that you are seeing, let's go back to Spotify here. Each of the boxes that you're seeing is basically a key. So whether it's doing a command, it's pressing, it's pretty much simulating a key press on your computer. So if you're pressing the play button, it's, simple, uh, it's simulating the space bar. So if you press that, it starts playing the music. Um, now you have some volume controls here, and all this is customizable by pressing this edit button. You can delete, you can resize, um, you can do a lot of different things. So let's say I never want to have this command here. I can create a new command uh, by clicking add a pad, and I'll just walk you through the process of creating a new, uh, a new pad here. So we could say maybe I want to have it close out the window. So window, close the current window. So then when I press this, it will close out the window, right? So then if I have that selected, and I can choose how it looks. So you can click on your icon, and they have bunches. These are just icons for close. Now if I click here, if we just go to artwork, you can see all the artwork with symbols are kind of the, you know, the non-color things. And there's thousands, I don't know if there's thousands, but there's a lot. Of different icons you can look through here. Uh, it might glitch up if I go too fast. But for close, let's just say I'm gonna do a random one here. Let's do a minus, okay? And we can do a gradient, or I can even do an image for the background. Let's just do a nice, uh, let's just do a solid blue. And you can add a note there. You can again view the function, add multiple functions. Maybe I wanted to close and open a different application up. But this will work and I can now drag the pad to where I want and I'm gonna resize that like so. So now when I press this, let's just make sure, put out some of my other applications first. Um, now if I press this, it will open up, or it'll just close out that window, but I currently have Google Chrome open, so if I click on this, it's going to adjust my current uh, palette for Google Chrome. So, you know, I still have volume controls here, I can zoom in, zoom out, but there's a lot more things you can explore and different kind of things you can do. Um, so whenever you see, again, like I'm referencing this again, whenever you see a slash at the top, that means it's a group. Uh, a group is a group full of different things. I think Chrome might have just, might have just shut down, but that's okay. I'm opening it back up there. Um, and if you go to, if you want to create a group, you just press this edit button, select the ones you want to add to the group. So let's say, I just, oh, I just clicked on the looks. I'm good with the look of that button there. I just want to select these four and make those a group. Then it groups them all together. Now I can choose colors and do all the, how it looks and stuff. But let's just do, let's see. Has something to do with tabs. So I'm going to search tabs. Oh. About right. There we go. And let's just use this. And now I can move this wherever I want. Now I have two tabs, but that's okay. Uh, this currently doesn't have a name. If I wanted to add a name, just click the edit, tap on it. I can add a label right there. Um, but again, let's just, I don't know, make this. I can make it super big, but let's not do that. <laughs> We're going to move this over here and okay so now if I press this it'll open up the group and I can select the action that I want zoom in zoom out etc um, and now over here is my favorite applications that I have chosen so we have um, my library so you can see we have Spotify or Chrome uh, and you can quickly go to those applications now 
all your applications are here if you wanted to go one of the, to one of those instead. Now for one application, you can make multiple palettes. So I'll walk you through that process too. So if you slide over here and I can just click duplicate. Now I have a Chrome copy and in this, oh, I just clicked finder. If I go into the Chrome copy, I can edit this and this is a copy, so it does not affect it. Uh, it does not affect the original one, so it's a copy and I can rename that. But for now, we'll just leave it as Chrome copy. So let's actually just delete all of the commands I've set up here. Oh. Uh, and all the applications come with a default uh, command that they kind of have, or default palette, sorry. Um, and let's add a that pad here. Let's do a short put. Let's do copy and paste, okay? I use that a lot. So this is just a global command here. And the command is, I don't know how to do this. Let's see, command, copy, so C. There we go. Now that was simulate command C, which is copy. And we'll click that, and let's see what we want the command to be. Let's search copy. Mm, I like this one. So now we've created our first shortcut, and I'll make it yellow. So for this basic demonstration, I'll just do a copy and a paste. Now let's change the name to this to copy. Awesome. Now let's add the paste, and we'll make that pink. But first, I have to make it. So let's do this global command and. And V. Awesome. Let's make that paste. Got yeah, the other one to be copy. And this one will be paste. So we'll make that pink. Now we have a copy. Oh, let's change the name. I forgot to do that. Okay, now we have a copy and we have a paste button. Now to see how this works, if we want to copy something, like, I, let me show you how to work the keyboard. So if you slide up, a keyboard will come up and you can type in. So then I can type in, um, let's see, what, what do I want to type in? Let's do doc. And return. So then if I was to uh, select this, which I'll just select with my mouse here, uh, I can click, I could click the copy button right here they have that built in or same thing would work if I didn't want to pull up the keyboard so if that was an extra step for me I can pull down the keyboard there I can select this quickly copy it open up a new tab for example paste it and then press enter so it's gonna just this the the place that this application works the best is places like uh, Illustrator Photoshop uh, Microsoft Word those applications it's gonna be really useful in um, Google Chrome is going to be useful if you want to do some uh, mobile, like uh, a lot of people have external um, keyboards and things like that, but you can really replace that with this application. So I'll make sure to include application uh, the link down below for the application on the App Store on the um, and the Chrome, uh, there's a Chrome extension and the Safari extension. And there is also a Windows version of that application. I'll include all of that down below, including the Quadro uh, website, which is quadro.me. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, I would appreciate it if you could leave a like below and share this video. Uh, see you guys in the next one.